Hello there people, welcome back to the Eagle Byte 83 channel where the past never dies. I am of course your host, Eagle Byte. Pardon me, I'm just looking through uh, an event that is scheduled to take place uh, last of October. Um, the Halloween party that I might actually attend. It's a nerd party, it's uh, one of the, uh, the Resurgence of Syntax Error which is a classic nerd club here in Stockholm, Sweden. Tonight, I am drinking a tea. I think it's chamomile. Um, oh, let me just make sure. Of course, I have two breath mints in there as well. I woke up today a little bit, um, I don't know, like clodgy in my, in my throat, so I feel like I need this. Ah, okay, yeah, that's oh, that's refreshing. That's refreshing. Give me, give me some, give me some more. Oh yeah, oh yeah, nice. All right, so I bid you welcome to another session of Streamer's Choice. Um, tonight we are going to start a new journey with something unknown. Well, it's not actually that unknown. Because I told you yesterday, those of you who watched yesterday, I am going to embark on a journey in another one of LucasArts adventure games. It is going to be the Full Throttle Remaster. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this. And uh, yeah, I think we are ready. We are good to go. Let me just get another swig of this. And this is my cup. It's Swedish. It says that I am the world's best uncle. I don't know if I'm the best, but yeah, my nieces gave, gave that to me, so there has to be some truth to it, right? Anyway, all right, let's uh, let's get on with the game, shall we? Uh, once again, I want to apologize for being a bit late. This time, I actually had to sit on the porcelain throne a bit too long. It kept me there uh, for a while, so now I'm good to go, though. Um, uh, yeah, so, here we go. <clears throat> and please, uh, let me know if there's, like, any problems, if I need to hear any... Uh, uh, give me feedback if there's anything wrong with the stream or anything like that. <laughs> yeah! All right. So there are five options here. This is actually the game menu, apparently. There is new game. There's load a game. There's bonus. There's help an option. And there is the exit. I wonder what bonus is. Audio commentary. Nah. Concept art, jukebox. Jukebox? Really? <gasps> Excuse me. Uh, Excuse me again. Alright, so apparently you can unlock... What, the game's track, I guess? Soundtrack? Ooh, concept art. Yeah, and these are also locked. Okay, this is what I like with remasters. They actually give you bonus stuff like the um the original release did not uh give you um at one point we're also gonna do the uh, grim fandango remaster and we're also gonna do um i don't think there is a day of the tentacle remaster but that would be awesome i would do that one in a heartbeat but i think there isn't so i'm probably gonna do like the original um <clears throat> Uh, let me just make sure that everything here is kosher. Yeah. As always, in all LucasArts adventure games... Oh, sorry. By the way, I just realized something. Hang on. 
There we go. <clears throat> um, I need to I needed to up the volume a little bit because the uh, NES um, episode of yesterday, which I still haven't exported to uh, YouTube, I have to do that. Um, I turned down the volume for that one, so I needed to turn it up a little bit right now. Anyway, uh, with the LucasArts Adventure Games, I always, out of tradition, out of tradition, we always have the subtitles on, even though there's going to be voices, but it's out of tradition, because I remember when I was a kid and played a lot of these, like, MS-DOS, LucasArts Adventure Games, I always had to have the, sub the subtitles on, because usually they'd be like bootleg versions or they'd be you know just the version without the cd so we didn't have like you know audio tracks uh we'd have the midi music and we'd have subtitles that was it usually um whenever i came across these games since then of course i'm lucky very lucky and happy to have access to all of these games, most of them at least, uh, with full audio, full music, you know, all of that. So I'm really happy about that. Even like when we did War Warcraft 2, that's also a game that I got. Like I had the, uh, I didn't have the MIDI music for that one, which it's kind of, it's kind of uh, sad in a way though, because you take away a little bit of the uh, nostalgia when you don't have the meaty music or or the uh, the genuine feeling, but that's okay. That's okay. This is a remaster, and yeah, let's go for it. And you always want the best version, of course. <gasps> Wait, can we remastered classic? Oh, uh, let's go with auto. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, okay. Let, yeah, let's go with auto. Or maybe we should just put it on remastered. I don't know. Like everything. What does auto mean? I don't know what auto means. I mean, <laughs> generally I know what it means, but what does it mean in this context? I guess we'll find out. Oh, really? A how to play section? Use the mouse to point the cursor where you would like to go and press the left mouse button to walk there. Okay. <laughs> While hovering over something, press the. Yeah. I, press the left mouse button to open the interaction menu. Yeah, okay. Look, talk, or use mouth. That, that's important to remember because that's a thing you needed to do in Monkey Island 3 as well. If you needed, if you, if it was something you needed to do, that you needed to eat something, you n need to remember to use the mouth. I mean, it, because when I was a kid, I always thought the mouth in these games only symbolized talking. Um, pick up a punch, kick. Okay, well, uh -huh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. happy to find. Yeah, okay. Inventory menu, press the right mouse button, okay. Alright. When an inventory item will appear inside the cursor. Yeah, okay, I remember that. Oh yeah, the bike controls. This was cool. Yeah, and then attack is enter, tab is change. Oh, wait. Ah, okay. Well, Ben is on his bike. You can use it. Yeah, okay. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. New game. I remember really when liking I this. Smell asphalt, I think of Marine. That's the last sensation I had before I blacked out. The thick smell of asphalt. And the first thing I saw when I woke up was her face. She said she'd fix my bike. Free. No strings attached. 
I should have known then that things are never that simple. Yeah, when I think of Marine, I think of two things. Asphalt and trouble. Rip Burger, you're dumber than dirt. Oh, Mr. Corley, if you'd only listen to my plan, my vision. I know your plan, Rip Burger. You're waiting for me to die so you can take over my company. Well, oh, sir, that's horrible. I am not waiting for you to die. Hello, Mark Hamill. You know I've never liked you, Rip. But you have business know-how and killer instincts that I respect. Why, thank you, sir. But this latest idea of yours, riding up to our shareholders' meeting with a gang of bikers? Who do you think you're fooling? The shareholders, sir. It's good PR to be seen hobnobbing with real Corley Motors customers. What do you know about our customers, Adrian? You've never even been on a bike. Well, you know I'd be on one right now, sir, if it weren't for my destabilizing inner ear condition. Ah, your ears are fine. It's what's between them that scares me. some boys I can ride with. Step on it. Let's find out who they are. It's a little bit punk rock, I have to say. It's not exactly thrash metal or heavy metal. It's it's got the vibe of punk rock, or punk metal, or punk rock. Ben, we're broke. Yeah. And if some cash doesn't come our way soon, we're in big trouble. Relax. I have a feeling something's coming our way. Something big. Yeah, you better stay out here, Rip. This place is bikers only. <laughs> All right. And you're a biker. Who's the guy that drove over my car? What could possibly be taking so long? Maybe old man Corley got himself in trouble. Yeah, maybe they took the old guy out back and worked him over with a two-by-four. Hmm, an appealing notion, but improbable. More likely, he's boring them to death with some tale of the glory days. <laughs> but Malcolm, isn't that illegal? Not back then it wasn't. 
<laughs> so who do you ride with these days? He rides with me. Although I'm sure he'd much rather be riding with your little club. I told you to wait out in the limo, Rip Burger. I thought you might like some help with your sales pitch, sir. Sales pitch? Yes. We've come here today to offer you and your men employment. Mr. Corley requires an escort to the annual Corley Motors shareholders meeting. Does this look like an escort service to you? You would be well compensated for your time, of course. Not interested. It's uh, fairly obvious that you could use the money. Oh. Listen, I said we're not for rent. The Polecats are not goons for hire. Not even if it were Malcolm Corley's dying wish? Rip Burger! That does it! I'm gonna... Hold on there, Malcolm. If you don't mind, I'd like to step outside with Mr. Rip Burger for a little chat. Excellent idea. Uh-oh. I'm thinking this is gonna be... And the doctor says he only has a few months to live. That's bad news for all of us. He's not just a nice guy. He's also the last motorcycle maker in the country. What happens to Corley Motors if he dies? Don't worry. I have a plan. And if you come to the shareholders meeting with us, you'll find out what it is. No dice, Rip Burger. The Polecats are not thugs for rent. If you want to buy muscle, you should go find the rot wheelers. The old man says it's the Polecats or nothing. Then I guess it'll have to be nothing. Hmm. And that's your last word? That's it. Well, I'd like to make you just one final offer. <sighs> Bolus, take this coat and go get his motorcycle. We'll have to tie up this little 200-pound loose end. <laughs> it will need to look like an accident. That stuffed shirt actually thinks I'll leave him in control of Corley Motors when I go. Boy, is he in for a surprise. Hey, where's Ben going? Your colleague has decided to accept our generous offer after all. As a matter of fact, he's gone on ahead to scout out the route. He did? Well then, let's roll em, boys! Yahoo! Corville, here we come! Oh, so now I get a men like a tutorial, really? Okay. Um. Oh, I can switch render mode with F1. Interesting. Object highlight, backspace, skip cutscene. Okay. St yeah, okay, I gotcha. What? I can use... I can use the PS4 controller, really? What? But it it wouldn't feel the same, you know? A LucasArts adventure game, you really need a mouse and keyboard for. All right. All right, let me change the render and, and see. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Um, okay, so I'm fully expecting that the VOD is going to be muted because of the uh, music. Uh, the uh, uh, Gone Jackals, I think they're called. Um, the title music. But yeah, the vo uh, it generally, generally stays muted only for like six minutes. Um, if it doesn't pick up any more music, then it should be unmuted again. Oof. I don't know why I'd tell you guys this. This is something I should have in the description of the VOD, of course. All right. So, we have been knocked out. We have been placed in a container. Most likely, because, I mean, we're still focused on this area, but, yeah. Yeah, look at this. There we go. <clears throat> okay. So, switching render. 
That is the classic full throttle render. <laughs> of course, we're going to keep this because this is the re remastered. Um, I'm not putting my lips on that. No, I wanted to see it. They're empty. I've woken up in worse. I can't see any use for those. All right. I don't have anything. We don't have anything in the inventory, okay. Empty boxes. He really should flatten these so they can be recycled. Good good tips or good uh, good advice. Oh, maybe I can... Wait, let me just see if I actually saw everything that could be interacted with. Yeah, okay. That is great, actually. So, this is what it looks like now. This is beautiful. I mean, look at this. Look at the graphics here. This is more like a comic book than anything. Back in the day, it used to look like this. I mean, yeah. I don't remember the pixels being this large, though. I remember being able to see his face a little bit better. I wonder if they're exaggerating the old, uh, the old render. But anyway, go back to this. Um, yeah, so this is my bike. Let's look at it. Good thing Ripburger didn't touch my bike. Good thing for him. Yeah, touch a biker's bike and you're a goner, pretty much. Um, windows. Why can I interact with windows? Oh. It's empty, but I can see the bartender in there. The kickstand. Yeah, all right. Open the door. <laughs> Open up. Oh, really? I can't get back in? Open up. All right, kick in the door. There we go. I, uh, fixed your door. It was sticky. Look, I don't want no trouble. Just leave me out of this mess. We still need to know about what happened here, all right? Like a true biker, we're gonna take the cash register. No, just kidding. Hmm. It's empty. Don't get any ideas. <laughs> I've never liked nose rings. Me neither, but someone dared me. Looks like you're out of customers. Yeah, your gang talk off with those those well-dressed gentlemen. So what'll it be, Mac? Where'd everybody head off to? What am I, the cruise director? Maybe they're up on the Lido deck. <laughs> I think you're in on this whole bum deal. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do about it? You know what might look better on your nose? What? The bar. <clears throat> now don't mess around with me. All right, all right. I got your keys, but I don't know nothing. They had guns. They told me to stall you as long as possible. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I overheard them say something about an ambush up the road. What else? Nothing, nothing. Look, man, here are your keys, all right? Oh, uh, someone did say something about killing you and making it look like an accident. They didn't do too good of a job there. But why ambush the pole gants? I'd better get moving. Before we do, though, let's do some stuff here. Man, I wish they had a jukebox. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Those might look good mounted on my handlebars. Nah. What's this? It's a big blobby gray shape. I was taking an art class. That's one big fish. Yep. 
15 guys with towels in their belts? My graduating class from bartending school. Are you the guy with the lampshade on his head, or the guy chugging out of the punch bowl? Lampshade. This your pit bull? Nah, that's my baby picture. <laughs> Whoa. Watch it, that's my sister. The monitor doesn't have any controls. The monitor doesn't have any controls. Yeah, the signal is piped in from Kickstand National Headquarters. Ah, booze. Can't. Gotta ride. Alright, fine. Let's get on the road. Though. No one can stop me. But they try. Uh. Hey! Ain't you the A number one polecat honcho? Yeah, and you're in my way. Well, get used to it, bud. When the rock wheelers hit the road, we own it. Look, I'm serious. Someone's ambushing the pole cats. Someone's ambushing the pole cats? Oh heavens, whatever will we do? Ha <laughs> ha! That does it. Come on, kitty! Let's get down! <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, crap. Something about killing you and making it look like an accident. I have a plan. They had guns. Malcolm Cole's dying wish. Something about an ambush up the road. I have a plan. The hell? Man, this is gruesome. My editor better print these in color. Now I have to get you some help, I suppose. Oh. Ah, quit moaning. I know someone around here who can fix anything. What are you? I'm a mechanic. And apparently a pretty good doctor as well. <clears throat> My name's Maureen. My name's Ben. Why did you hit me over the head, Maureen? You were in an accident. A reporter found you and brought you and your bike here. My bike? What have you done with my bike? Brought it back from the dead. Sort of like what I did with you. I need a little help getting it finished, though. Who are you? Maureen, remember? If that's too hard, maybe you should just stick with Mo. Do you have a last name? I prefer not to use it. What about you? Same deal. Then it's Ben and Mo forever, I guess. 
this an authorized Corley Service Center? Uh, you could call this a Corley Service Center, but I don't have the official paperwork. Ah, an illegitimate Corley operation. I prefer to think of it as a renegade Corley operation. Okay. Where'd you learn bikes? I grew up working on them with my dad. One summer we did nothing but restore this old hard tail together. I mean, we scrubbed every bolt until it shined. But he took off one day and he never came back. So I switched to toasters. You live in this town? Well, Melonweed's not much of a town. What's left of it is sinking about a foot a year. People either learn to adjust or they leave, which is fine with me. Not a people person? I'm just better with toasters, that's all. You seem more concerned with me than your bike. How's it look? It looks better than it did, but you gotta help me out. The front forks are wasted, so you'll have to get some new ones. And someone stole my welding torch. Can you believe that? I can't finish without one. And last but not least, I patched up your ruptured gas tank, but you're out of fuel and I don't have any. All right, so we need uh, front forks, we need welding torch, and we need fuel. <clears throat> I got to get out of this town fast. Trouble with the law? Not in this county. Then what's the hurry? There's going to be an ambush. Ambush? Who's ambushing who? Not sure, but my gang's involved. We better get this bad boy back on the road then, huh? I don't have any money to pay you with. Hey, this one's free. I haven't touched anything besides a toaster for so long. Getting my hands on your hog has really been a pleasure. Well, thanks. Don't sweat it. Where am I supposed to find all this stuff? You can hack it, tough guy. Where am I going to find new forks? Well, they don't have to be new-new, just not broken into little pieces. You could start by asking Todd in the trailer across the way. He runs the junkyard. How am I supposed to find your torch? I don't know. Set up a dragnet. Still can't believe someone would steal my torch. Who around here would do a thing like that? Where's the gas? Well, there's a whole tower full of it at the edge of town. I have this crazy, irrational intuition that tells me maybe it's worth checking out. Actually, I think I can handle it. Good. Well, I'll let you get back to work. Let me know if you need any aspirin or anything. Hmm. This hole smells like gas. Wish this gas can was full. Who's this? Oh, that's me and my Uncle Pete. He took care of me after Dad split at this place he called the Mink Ranch. And when he died, he left it to me. You're a mink farmer? Nah, that place went belly up long before he died. But I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. A hose won't help here. A gas can won't help here. All right, um... I hate seeing her like this. Why? It's really my best side. Oh, good, you're not dead yet. I might still get a quote. I heard you saved my life. Yeah, but don't worry. I wasn't trying to. I was just looking for some nice roadside disaster photos and you helped. Who'd want a picture of me bleeding? It's not the blood. It's the way you were, all twisted up like a pretzel. Listen, I've got to stop an ambush. Ambush? Really? Where? I don't know exactly. My crew is escorting some VIPs to the Corley Motors shareholders meeting, and there's an ambush waiting for them somewhere up the road. Um, uh, I, I... Yeah? This is hard for me. I, I need... Come on, man, spit it out! Could you give me a ride in your car? I've got to stop this ambush. You're right. We have to get to the ambush, all right. But I'm afraid I'm without wheels at the moment. No, you're not. To get us here. Hitched. No. Well, I'd better be going. All right, drive safe now. I remember her car, like, whenever, when 
when she finally has like a lead or something and she needs to get out of here she's gonna like run around and then she's gonna get into the car which is right here because you're gonna see two lights two headlights light up and then the car is like gonna go away um so yeah you're a lying piece of <laughs> pretty small to be carrying me or <clears throat> i rolled you I owe her better than that. Find us a ride yet? No. It's empty. Pointless, but okay. Yeah, look, look, look. Thanks for the lift. Now I got a quote for you. All right. Let's see here. This is Melon Weed. This is. <clears throat> Alright, there's nothing to do here. There's nothing here. Nothing here. Okay, there's three places we can go, except for back here. This place, that place, and that place. So, which place should we go to first? Any takers? There's this little, I don't know what that is. Kind of looks like a trailer, but it, I don't know. There's something, something underground. Then there's this Thunderdome looking thing. And then there's the gas tower compound. Uh, okay. There we go. Actually, we'll uh, we'll go to this little place first. Why not? <laughs> I forgot actually that this is set in the future because their uh, the limo of Coralie was like floating, it, it, like a hovering. Either someone's doing some welding down there, or we're talking about some. Very subcode wiring. <clears throat> Smells like burning metal down there. Probably all that's holding this dump up. It's even sadder looking inside. Locked, but flimsy looking. Oh, you have to go around to do the. Okay. It it's was a trailer, by the way. Inside. Apparently, this guy has a dog. Did he say that this door was locked? Lock, but flimsy looking. Who's out there? Hey! I'm trying to do my art in here, buddy. <laughs> I don't got time to waste on bums like you. Hey, you lousy nose. <laughs> This view defines true beauty. I think he's had enough. I think he's had enough. All right. All right so we've completely Looks knocked like them a out. Cabinet to me.
It's empty, but there's something hanging on the door. Yeah, I see it. Oh. Well, thank you. I pictured him having a much larger fridge. It's either dog food or this guy's dinner. Wouldn't look good on my bike. No, shut the door. The population is greatly increased. Okay. And now the odds are greatly increased. His decor has a strong carnival coin toss flavor to it. Nominate that as least offensive of show. Sugar, I, won't let it go to my head. I don't collect art. And I also my don't collect whatever that is. Has down into Ouch. The dirt. I don't collect art. And I also don't collect whatever. I had a dog with a funnel on its head when I was a kid. I don't collect art. And I also don't collect Well, there's a, there's a torch. Better hustle this back to Mo. Yeah. That was easy. That's my welding torch. How'd you get it? Oh, it was just lying around. A pair of forks, a little gas, and we're set. I want to see if there's anything else down there, though. The population is greatly decreased. And now the odds are greatly increased. That I may that would make a good mailbox post in hell. I hope he's not trying to bring these to life or anything like that. Not a bad version, really. Can't get up there. All right, enough. Alright, uh, next up is, yeah, let's go to the Thunderdome place while we're here. <clears throat> or Todd's Junkyard, sorry. Heavy looking. Open up, Todd. I think Todd is the one in the, yeah. Open up, Todd. Yeah, that's not gonna work. It comes out a hole in the bottom and goes over that pulley to the other side of the wall. All right, I remember this. As soon as I let go of this, uh, it's gonna dr it's gonna drop. I need something to like keep it down here. I think. Yeah. Ah. It's a lockpick. Wish this gas can was full. Mm -hmm. This hose smells like gas. I bet that thing's full of gas. If only I could get in there. The gate's not electrified. Kind of looks like it, though. The top of this fence is electrified. All right. First obstacle down. Uh...
can't actually do anything with that one. That you needed to do something. Hey, yeah. I don't see anybody. Maybe nobody's there. Well, who set off the alarm floor? Maybe somebody's just fooling with us. Ah, uh, you must have missed that last guy. Well, if you could hold this thing still while I'm shooting, I'm going down for a closer look. <laughs> yeah, I do that. Yeah, I remembered this. I don't kind see of... nobody. You must have run away. Yeah. We would have seen him running from the air. He must be hiding up in the tower. We got him treed. Let's go up and get him. Hover sled. I don't trust anything without wheels. I don't touch anything without wheels. So what? Uh, what do we do now? I mean, we can't get up the ladder, right? Don't think so. I don't touch anything without. Oh! Oh! Right! 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 A hose won't help here. Wait, aren't we supposed to like use the fuel? A gas can won't help here. Get. Maybe not. We got the sled down, but I'm not sure what we're supposed to do here. A hose won't... A gas can won't help here. No. Don't think so. I don't trust anything without wheels. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I don't rightly know what I'm supposed to do. Okay, the sled is still there. It remains there. Okay, I gotcha. Um... Mo. Yeah, Ben? I'm having a little trouble finding stuff. <laughs> What's the problem? Where's the gas? Well, there's a whole tower full of it at the edge of town. I have this crazy, irrational intuition that tells me maybe it's worth checking out. Where am I gonna find new forks? Did you try the junkyard? Actually, I think I can handle it. Good. Well, I mean, the junkyard is inaccessible. And the tower is patrolled by a hover sled. How's it look? Well, basically, what you got here is a unicycle. We need new forks and a little gas. Well, I'll let you get back to work. Let me know if you need anything. Anything without wheels. Uh -huh. I don't know. Wait. Don't think so. Is there anything I can, like, wait? What about that? Ah, gas cap! Okay, I thought this was like part I'd say of. That's where the gas. 
Okay, okay, hold on. That's what you do. Okay. Nice. Yeah, okay, do it. Hey, who's that down there in the yard? It's him. Get him. Where? Over there. Quick! You go around the other <laughs> side and we'll have him cornered. Where'd he go? Let's call him quits, huh, boss? No, let's call on reinforcements. <clears throat> oh, good. You get this from the gas tower? Not exactly. Just a pair of new forks and we're on the road. <clears throat> um Okay, so now we need the forks. Is it possible to wait? If we go down here, okay, it takes us back, okay? What if we if we go right, it takes us back, okay? I have a piece of meat and I have a lockpick. That's not one of meat's many uses. Um Any suggestions? <gasps> oh, no. wait, 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 wait. No. Todd's junkyard. Open up, Todd. Oh, yeah. I knocked him out. Okay, what if there's something... here? The population is greatly I think he's had enough. I mean, I feel like maybe I don't collect art, and I also don't collect whatever that is. Folks are mostly disfigured or dead, but sugar, I won't let it go to my head. I don't collect art, and I also don't collect whatever that is. I don't really know what to do now. There's not that much we can do. <clears throat> Unless we go back here. Don't think so. Okay. Yeah, maybe there's not like nothing left we can do. Here. Okay. I'm a little bit at a loss. Oh. Can I take the lock? It's open. Oh, I could take the lock. Ah, of course. I didn't know I could take the lock. Okay. 
That's not something I want to lock. Oh, really? Hmm. It's already open. I, I feel like there's something you need to do with the lock here. That's not something I want to lock. Oh, I locked. That is so counterintuitive. You'd want to open stuff here. Why would you want to lock that? But I think I know why. Because now I will be able to climb this. I think that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. I, I knew it was uh, something. Junk. And here we use the meat on the dog. No. Somewhere else, I need to put the meat. That one ill tempered mongrel. Is there somewhere else I can put the meat? Let's see. Oh, look at the. Oh, okay. Wait. Fire damage. Forget about it. Just the kind of forks I need. <gasps> right on top. Oh, take him. Down. Meat dogs. Obviously, we need to do something with uh, the meat. If I put the meat somewhere to sort of like yeah. Dog jumps in car, eats meat, jumps out, kills me. <laughs> Can't put it here, maybe? That's not one of meat's many uses. to save actually can I oh yeah save there we go there we go I now I have a new bonus content concept art kickstand
<clears throat> Obviously, there's something we need to do with the uh, uh, the magnet, the junkyard magnet. Some, some, some Aldi mean, okay. Ninety-three. So this game was actually very. I mean, okay, this is just concept art, but ninety-three. I thought this game was. I think it's okay. Never mind. Test site. <clears throat> Melon weed. Revised again. Right. Wow, there's a lot of a lot of concept art I have unlocked by just playing for the first I don't know oh have we already played for one hour evil trucker Oh, now it's 94. It's getting re refined here. Yeah. 94. All right, now we're now we can see it taking shape here. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, we need to somehow activate that thing. That's like what we need to do, at least. We got that. We understood that. Oh, okay. Bad dog. Where do we activate that, though? Oh, okay, okay. No, no. Down. Bad dog. Where do you operate the magnetic crane? Or magnetic lifter, or whatever. <coughs> oh, 
Wait, before we... <sighs> Stop. Oh, you can just do that? I didn't see a, a proper, like, entrance, but apparently I can do that. Okay. This, I had no idea this was a pathway. What the f oh, okay. I didn't know that, but okay. I'd better get out of here. I, I'd better get out of here. Oh, right. Sorry. 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 I know what to do. I'm not supposed to. Yeah. 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 I came for the forks, so pick them up and take them. Pick them up. <clears throat> nice forks. Where'd oh, you find you. them? Right next to the knives and spoons. Well, that's it. Wait outside for a minute and I'll finish you up. I'm working on a surprise. I hate surprises. All right, here she comes. Am I cool or what? You're amazing. I should crash that thing every day. So what's the surprise? Oh, just your average everyday pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster. You're serious? Yes. But only the vultures. I have my connections. Now, are you gonna try this thing out or not? I wish I had a camera. I wish I had some way of paying you back. Just beat it, will ya? You're scaring away my regular customers. Bye, Mo. Send me a postcard from the ambush. <laughs> I feel like th this could be a good first chapter, so to speak. You know what I mean? All right, look lively. He's a sneaky one. Oh, those this guys. Time he ain't getting past us. Of course. See him? No. Keep looking. <laughs> Okay, we're coming back. Ah. Okay, there are two ways we can go. This probably takes us back to the kickstand. Let's talk to Mo. Nah, I've already said my goodbyes. So what the hell did you come back here for? I'm sorry, but I don't know. Um, all right, so there's only one other way we can go, unless this is the no. I don't think so. All right, let's go this way then. 
The ambush is the other way. Okay, well, where do you want me to go then? Good. All units follow me. Yeah, that was, I didn't think that would work actually, but yeah. All right. There we go. Ben, how'd you get behind us? Where are the suits? Corley's making a pit stop. He has a bladder the size of a thimble, man. Rip Burger? Haven't seen him in a while. Ben, man, what's the deal? Did you find something up the road? Are we headed for trouble? No. We're in it. Put my head in a basket, cause I'd had a tank full. When she blew my gasket, I surely was thankful. Till I head for the skies up above. It's a woman with wheels that I love. Got problems <laughs> pulling up a zipper. Come on, old man. I got ya. Now, do something incriminating, like ambush somebody. Aha, the plot thickens. <laughs> You shouldn't have laughed at me in those board meetings, Malcolm. What a psycho. Gotcha. Hey, look what I found in the bushes. What is that? It's a chokehold. Come here and I'll demonstrate. It's got a camera. It's I'll got her. It's no. got a camera. Nestor will take care of her. You have an important engagement with the rest of the Corley family. <clears throat> right. But don't forget to destroy that camera. Yeah, yeah. Now then, Malcolm, how about one for the road? Corley? Corley? Ben! <coughs> I guess Rip Burger couldn't wait for natural causes. Just like him to hit a man when his flies down. <coughs> Rip Burger did this to you? Yeah, he knew I was dying, and he knew that my will would put him out of a job. He wants to take over Corley Motors, Ben. Sell it off to foreigners, lay off workers, start making minivans. You understand me? Minivans! <laughs> oh. <coughs> you gotta hurt him for me, Ben. Promise me you'll hurt him bad. I promise. <coughs> I want my daughter to take over the company. You have a daughter? Yeah. And she's a real mechanical genius, Ben. Rebuilt her first carburetor when she was four. Eh, I used to call her the diaper dynamo. <coughs> Find my daughter, Ben. Find Maureen. Maureen? Burger's way ahead of me. I just hope Maureen can handle herself until I get there. Hmm. Gun, I understand. Why'd he bring a camera? Who does this guy work for? Corley Motors? <laughs> Nestor, what's that moving over there by that pile? I don't know, Rip, but I think that pile is Bolus. <sighs> Yes, now I remember. You're the smart one, aren't you? There's Moe's shack, but I don't see the limo. Maybe I beat them here. On second thought, maybe I didn't. Right. Oh, there's nothing I can interact with here. Even her, the f picture of her father is gone. Or her uncle, I mean.
Hmm. Alright. Kind of feel like this is a good place to end the first episode. What do you think? It's been one hour and 16 minutes. But it's like, I don't think the game is that long. And it feels like they are very... Um, I like to make sort of like a, a small series, you know what I mean? I think I, at, least, at the very least, I'm going to save here. Yes, there we go, most shop. Alright, there we go. I think we're going to do that. And we will pick this up tomorrow. Maybe I'll do it, uh, do a longer episode tomorrow. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be doing a longer episode tomorrow. I, I kept it short tonight because I uh, I did not uh, uh, start when I wanted to start actually, and now it is just about to become midnight, so it works. But yeah, I feel like tomorrow I'm gonna be doing a little bit longer and start earlier. Uh, so uh, feel free to join me tomorrow again uh, in order to uh, check out the continuation of this very interesting um, graphic novel story. Uh, I like this game. Uh, even though I'm not that nostalgic over it because I never played it when I was uh, a kid, I did play it like in the beginning of the Double Zeros uh, when I was a little bit more grown up. Uh, but I never beat it, and that is why it's... Um, do um, playable today. Um, yeah, so uh, we are going to be continuing tomorrow. Um, and to anybody watching, remember that you are always welcome to join this channel's Discord down there. You can join it through that link. And that is where you'll always get the latest news and updates regarding my channel. Please be advised, if you join, it is highly recommended that you join your Discord account with your Twitch account in order to get the proper roles. Um, this is all for me tonight. Uh, I will be seeing you again tomorrow. Take care, guys. Uh, mind social distance. And always remember to keep the retro legacy alive. As always, this is Zigobite83, wishing you the best. Take care and good night.